<laughs> my, my next guest is a, a very talented actor and musician. He's got an album out, his first one, called Philip Michael Thomas, Living the Book of My Life. I think you all know uh, Philip from his starring role in Miami Vice here on NBC. Would you welcome Philip Michael Thomas? Good to see you. Good to be here. Yeah. Oh, boy. Last time we saw each other, we were here for the... Uh, there is a show that's coming up on NBC, I guess, in May sometime, called the 60th Anniversary of the National Broadcasting yeah. Company. And you and your cohort, Johnson, flew up from, uh, I guess, took a day off. Right, right. And, and you said, uh, uh, Philip Michael Thomas, the man with three names. That's right. I came over <laughs> and I said, Philip Michael Thomas, I said, John William Carson. <laughs> yeah. When did you start using the whole, did you always do that, or when you got you know, into acting, or what? Well, I, I started using, uh, uh, well, I was Michael for the first, like, 12 years of my life. Michael Thomas. Yeah, uh -huh. just Michael. And then they went to Philip M., and then Philip Michael about... Uh, nine years ago. Yeah. Yeah, but this is a great honor to be here on this show because this is uh, a continuation of one of my dreams and visions that uh, I put in motion, and I'm very I've thankful. I've read a lot about your dreams and visions. I, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you, you really come out with some uh, some interesting statements. Uh, the press, uh, I pick up magazines, and the press kind of mm -hmm. got on your case. I saw an article here. You don't mind if I... No, no. It right. said... Uh, the ego has landed, <laughs> huh? and uh, yeah. you're going to do this, and you're going to do that, and you wanted to be, um, you wanted to win, I think you said, an, an Emmy, Emmy, a Tony, Grammy, and a Grammy, Oscar Academy and, Award. Yeah, and Golden Globe Award. Golden and all Globe those Award. Things, yeah. Well, you know what? So far, how are things going? Well, uh, I was nominated, I was nominated for an Emmy in 1979 for all The right. Whack Attack. Right. Uh, I won the uh, People's Choice Award uh, for Best Actor. Uh, our show has been everywhere, you know, right. like we're in over 50 countries in the world. Um, and I'm here on Johnny Carson's show. Yeah. You know, so the dream is going on. A lot of people misinterpret because there's a difference between egotistic and right. artistic. Yeah. And when I'm talking to people, I'm trying to explain to them that you have to have dreams because yeah. without a dream and a vision, you die. As an artist, if you were going to be a doctor, you right. would want a certain, uh, you know, things on your wall. It's the same thing as an artist. I want, I want, uh, those trophies. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No. You know, most of us, when we're, we're kids, are, are taught to, to be modest, you know, to come up and quiet and mm -hmm. so forth. If you're a creative person or an actor, you really can't afford to be laid back and say, yeah. oh, and, and so forth. You've got to come out and sell yourself, right? Oh, yeah. And say, hey, sure. I can do this. Sure. I remember when I, when I first got into business, it was about, you know, it was, actually was, I was going to college, my second year of college at UCR. I came into Los Angeles to see uh, Hair, right. which was playing at the Aquarius Theater. And... Uh, um, a good friend of mine who is now a superstar, Ben Vereen, was in the show. And uh, I saw this guy on stage with all this energy, and I said to my partner, I said, hey, you know what, I'd like to be in this show. So after the show was over, I got up on stage and uh, asked, I said, well, how can I be in this show? And they said they were having auditions. So I came back 13 times from March to July uh, of uh, 1968 and was one of 28 chosen out of 2,000 people. So that began my professional career. I had, I had the dream then of wanting to be involved. And fortunately, Ben and I worked together in hair for the last year of the yeah. show. And then we uh, did the No Place to Be Somebody, which won the Pulitzer Prize in 1970. Yeah. Yeah, now, you're, you write music, yeah. right? You perform. This is the first album. Yes, yes. Is this just out? Uh, it was released in December. Yeah? Yeah. Are you a good singer? I haven't heard the album. Now, if I ask you, I said, <laughs> Philip, are you, is this... Dynamite? Is this a good album? Yeah, I would say yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> great, a great album? I, I, I think it's a great album. I mean, you know what it is? It's like after 21 years of wanting to do something, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an outward expression of an inward commitment that I made to success. Right. And uh, uh, it's on my own label, which I own, Spaceship Records, which is distributed by Atlantic. It's my own label, yeah. You got it all, getting it all going, I'm huh? trying, I'm trying to be like you, John. Oh, come on. I, I haven't made an album yet. Uh, didn't you have a book of, of sayings or something, or proverbs? Is that part of the book of Yeah, well, the perfect of moment life? of truth saying. Oh, the perfect moment of truth saying. Yeah. You yeah. Know, what's that about? Well, it's like in my journey of success, I've, I write down aphorisms. Uh -huh. You know, like some of the things, and, and one of the, the things I really enjoy are uh, my fans. Mm -hmm. And I get a chance to write positive attitudes to them so that it can help them along the way. You know, and right. I say things like, Mind your own business. Goodness. Goodness. <laughs> own your own business. You know, uh, the, the fragrance of a rose never leaves the hand of the giver. If you love anything enough, it will give up all its secrets. You know, things like that which are put positive uh, attitudes in people's minds. You remember Joey Lewis's? If you can lead a horse to water, yeah. you can lead a horse to water, but if you can get him to lie on his back and float, you've got something. You got something. <laughs> <laughs> Rather deep, I think. <laughs> So you also said at one time you want to be a millionaire. 
Yeah. I understand you've changed that now. Uh, yeah, I went to the fight um, in uh, Vegas, and uh, I, I saw Larry Holmes and Spinks, and it was a great fight. And I got a chance to talk to um, uh, the, uh, King, Don King. Oh, yeah. We and had uh, Don, Don is, is all this energy, man. I mean, he's a serious energy guy. You know, he's like yeah. in touch with something in space over here. He looks like he's got a Sears diehard in his pants. <laughs> And, uh, and they're jumper cables to his hair. The whole uh, hair just got... Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we, we were discussing, you know, possibilities in life and about being a millionaire. You know, it's nice to be a millionaire, but, you know, I, I like to be a billionaire. A billionaire? Why not? That's a thousand million. Yeah, I know. That's heavy. That's heavy-duty money. That's heavy-duty money. What would you do with a billion dollars? Well, I, I'd help humanity. You know, I, I like to build cities and stuff where people think about health and happiness and love and peace and prosperity. Yeah. It's not in that I individually need a, a billion dollars, yeah. you know, but it, it's like being involved with mastermind teams working with NBC is incredible. I mean, that's yeah. a billion dollar industry that we're working and doing positive things for the world. I, I get fan letters from all over the world. It's Has incredible. this show changed your life a lot? Tremendously. I, mean, I would imagine. Tremendously. Tremendously. I, 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 I feel very honored and uh, I have great respect for the position that I'm in. How do you and, your, and, and John get along? Well, like, do you really get along good? Excellent, yeah. Do I say get along good or get along well? We get along, yeah. we, yeah. we get along good and we get along well. Uh, we, uh, we've talked a lot about, you know, the beginning of the show up until now and the yeah. things that have taken place. You know, uh, when you spend 12 to 18 hours a day with someone, you really get a chance to know them. Yeah. It's like uh, Don is an incredible technician. That's good to know? hear because sometimes people are in shows and there's no love lost, but that's, it's nice yeah. to hear that. Really. Yeah. Do, well, so, Freddie, do we have a film clip? Are you showing where we have a... You want me to do this commercial first? All right. Excuse me for interrupting. Oh, I hope we right. have to do this. This is where the bread comes from. We'll be right back. <laughs> <I love it. laughs>